Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So it's the holidays, so the holidays are coming and to study that's probably the last thing that you want to do. But you also know that if you take a break over the holidays, too much of one, then it might be hard to get back into the swing of things again. You might have to study even harder and you're probably thinking, well, that's just impossible. You know, I have to study over the holidays, so how do I do that? The best thing to do is just to study a little bit every single day because over the holidays you you still need to take it easy you know you need to have a life of some kind i know it's hard um i was a student once too and i remember over the holidays that was the only time that i said to myself okay i'll study two hours a day that's it um take it or leave it and i would not study in the morning or the afternoon either because i felt that if i did that I would say to myself, okay, just another half an hour. I'll study for just another half an hour. And then before I knew it, I was studying for four hours and then thinking to myself, you know, this sucks. I'm a student, I know I have to study, but now I feel bad because I'm not spending time with my family, you know, or I could be thinking, well, I have Christmas shopping to do, I would like to do that. But then as you're doing your shopping, you're thinking about, oh shoot, I really should be studying right now right so it's kind of like a catch-22 you want to take a break you want to not study but then if you're not studying you feel like you have to study and then you feel bad for not studying so the best thing to do is to study at night time so depending on when you typically go to bed you know nine o'clock ten o'clock midnight whatever it is um, study for at least an hour to two hours at the most because that will make you tired and then put you to sleep, which helps. And then you also feel like you were able to do everything that you had to do during the day and have a nice time. But then at night, when you don't have to do anything, that is your time to study. Um, and another thing to kind of help you guys with is to study your topic first. You know, study your textbook module, um, whichever way you prefer. And then after you have that topic pretty much set in your mind, um, do a mock exam or a case studies package and then see how much you know or how much you thought you know but you don't know at all. So let's say you're studying the topic um, um, desensitizing agents, okay? So that will take you more than two hours to study. It might take you two hours on Friday, two hours on Saturday, and maybe even two hours on Sunday. That's okay. So study the whole thing and know it as best as you can. And then do a mock exam on that topic. And you know that if you do um, amazing on the mock exam, you can say, okay, so I know this topic pretty well. So now I can put it away and you can feel good about putting it away and then study another topic. Um, whereas if you said to yourself, oh geez, I did the mock exam and I did horrible. I got like half of it wrong. So then that tells you that you have to spend another two hours looking at that topic. Now, if you've been say, doing the topic for maybe eight hours in total, you should have a pretty good knowledge on that. Okay, so if you don't do well on the mock exam, then that means you're not studying properly. So if you study, say, for two hours on Friday night, two hours on Saturday night, and then two hours on Sunday night, but if you're constantly looking at your cell phone, if you're checking emails every 10 minutes, if you're doing laundry, you know, that's not proper studying. So lock yourself away, study for two hours, okay? No, you know, eating, answering cell phone, no checking emails, no putting laundry in for like 10 minutes, none of that. Study for the full two hours and then that's it. Because um, as a student, that's what I used to do all the time where I would study for 10 minutes and then go, oh, I have to use the washroom. And then I go, oh, well, since I'm up, I'll make a snack. Oh, well, since I'm up, I will watch a show while I'm eating, you know. But then I would think that I would be studying for an hour. Well, it was actually 10 minutes. So I might have thought that I was doing a good job studying, but I really wasn't. So pay attention to that too. Make sure to study and be as, um, as focused, I guess, as possible. So I hope that helps over the holidays because you do still have to study to sort of keep everything in your mind. But I know it's a lot harder to study. 
but you still need to have a life too. So let me know if that helps you. That always helped me. And uh, thank you so much for watching.